we're here outside of Bragg Creek right now, and the RCMP is set up because they have a real message that they want to send to all the drivers and everybody taking part in the long weekend and just out and about. I'm joined by Sergeant Turnbull. So what is your message that you're saying to drivers when you're pulling them over today? Well, today we're doing a... Um Alberta Check Stop here near Bragg Creek, and we're working with our enforcement partners, Alberta Sheriffs, Commercial Vehicle Enforcement, Fish and Wildlife. We're just trying to get the message out to be safe this long weekend. And now people driving up here might think, oh no, how long is this going to take? So how much of an inconvenience is this for drivers? Yeah, so um, some of the people that are here for, for example, you pull up for a mandatory alcohol screening. If you're dealing with an RCMP officer who's trained and has the instrument with you, it can be done. You can provide your breast sample, be done on your way within 30 seconds. So when you're doing this kind of thing on the Thursday before the long weekend, you're really trying to get in people's heads to party safe, uh, party safely. Yes, we have you know have fun with your friends and family, but plan ahead, make good decisions now because once you start drinking and partying, uh, that's when you're going to make bad decisions, and we want you to be safe. And I imagine that this isn't just going to be happening tonight. Correct. We're out all long weekend. Uh, we got plans for the entire May long weekend. In fact, Saturday is National Impaired Driving Enforcement Day. Now, this is the first May long weekend that pot has been legalized. Does that change anything for you guys uh, for tonight and this, the message that you're sending out there? Well, it has changed things uh, a lot for us. For for example, we've done a lot of training to get officers ready for this. We have officers here that are trained in standardized field sobriety tests and three officers who are here who are drug recognition experts that are specifically trained that if we do have somebody who is suspected of being impaired by a drug, they're going to go through a battery test to check and make sure that they're safe to drive. Any last words for our drivers and our motorists out there for this weekend? Well, we just want to hopefully avoid any any tragedies this May long weekend. Have fun with your friends and family. Stay sober. Don't drink and drive. Make sure that you pay attention while you're driving. Obey the speed limits and, of course, buckle up.